Welcome back everyone, I'm Ostentatious, and we're playing Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Uh, ignore all that. I don't know what happened there. Oh! Oh, never mind. I thought there was a letter there. So... Let's see what we need. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? Oh. It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. I can't see. Oh. Okay. So we want to use the elevator, but we can't. It's locked. What do I need? I'm assuming there's more rooms in here. I went to that room last game. Oh, wait. Oh, we came from downstairs, so we want to go upstairs, right? The study hall. Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken by thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left concerning all the hands it had passed. No, probably not. Move my keyboard. There goes that dog again. Howling away. Don't tell me I'm gonna get attacked by dogs, I'll hate that. Ah, oh, chest. More tinderbox. I need more tinderbox. Anything useful in here? No? Okay. Moving on. Hello? I really hope I don't meet anyone. I don't want to. Can I turn on a light? No. Oh, you're gonna have to make me read all of that? Letter regarding the discovery of an orb to my most trusted student and friend, John jo Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for for the last 20 odd years. It is an inflexible as the uh, Heliodromus described it in Hortus Con Conclusus. What the hell are these words? It was as it was told about, an underground mithric temple, crowned with an unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged, its color washed while rich. Contrast is enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within the stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Alstad, investigating one of the Alstad antiquated trails and oh, geez when i finally found the cavern i went inside and suddenly i could verify the truth of these en 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 enigmatic artifacts they were real as you can understand this is the most important discovery of my life but it has also become my greatest fear as i entered the underground chamber i could feel that i was trespassing because of my curiosity i did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me, and it bayed loudly as it closed in. Bayed? What does that mean? The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine. Ravine. Hey, Freya. Where I stumbled upon some men fishing for a cut. Oh, I got a cut, Freya. Freya. Meow. She's like, how dare you? Where was I? Oh, yo, 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 yo. When I heard the cry, uh... I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunate, Fortunately, they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry and of pain and throughout the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Nope. Not at all. Suddenly, blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. 
I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black. With the leaves of Cinda, the ground covered in murky water, I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear the pleading screams in the distance, uh, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away for, across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the, the incident. <sighs> the last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Alstadt. Your friend and mentor... Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Man, he really had a lot to say about that. Oh. What was that? I did not like that slapping sound, that wet slapping sound. Someone's torturing dogs somewhere, and I don't like it. Nothing else? Okay, we're going. What is that? Okay, this is cobweb. Hello? Oh. Ho oh ho? Oh! What? What the fuck? Oh, items. Oh, could you? Oh, okay. So you want me to throw some of that at this? Alright, alright. I can do that. Oh. Uh, uh, doggo? Doggo? You better not be alive. I swear to God, if it starts chasing me. Why am I closing it? Open that door. Doggo. Doggo. Oh, okay, good. It's not... Well, I mean, it's not alive. Oh. Let's see what you have to offer. <clears throat> ah, what a mess. I should have sharpened the saw. But I can sense it. It's definitely there. Your insanity? Well, you're what? Why? How could you do this? Oh my god, guy. What is that? That's a bird. Okay. Hello? Better not start moving on me. I swear. I swear, if you start moving at me, I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. I, I'm not joking around. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. Give me my chair back. Oh, he stole my... Chair. What the? F uh, maybe I don't want to mess with him. Fuck off. Okay. Oh! Why? Frick off, man. Did you do this to Bob? Huh? Huh? What do you do to them? All right, anything else besides death? Anything I can use? What is this? No, nothing. Can I take your hit? Oh my God, you look angry and pissed. I am sorry, sir. What is that? <laughs> uh, he's got a front tail. Okay. 1658, January 9th. Further disappointment. The antiqua antiquarian's latest findings yield no yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of the life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. 
Since no retreat has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. I, I'm... As I can sense it, uh, I don't think that was working for you when you moved on to humans. I mean, with all the skulls and stuff flying around. You apparently sensed it in this dog. Poor doggo. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on, because I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, oh, note. Oh my god, I hate reading. Canis Lupus Familiaris, 1658, April 12th. Animal experiment. After a short study, and it's clear that uh, the uh, uh, agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in, in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from their from the existence. I must refine this process of the torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amounts necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. You need fear. Why do you need fear? Hello? I need... I can't see anything. Oh, I got another bomb? Alright, I'll get out of... I'll get out of the darkness. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta break that. Uh, let me grab the dog head. We're gonna throw the dog head out the window. Whoa. Okay. Give me a, oh. Don't, don't fall. Picked up his box. Okay, I'm just going to parkour, I guess. Can't make it that way. Oh. 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 What? I didn't see anything. I must have missed it. Oh. Hello? Elevator renovation plans. Okay. There's nothing oh. left. Everything is gone. Okay. Cool story, bro. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown any restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. Have I done so much for you and I have gained nothing in return, Agrippa? I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Okay. What are we talking about here? I'm about to slap someone with this chair. Across the forehead, oh my goodness, that's gonna scare me. I can't see. Flow co cycle rod, okay. Oh my god, there's too much to read. I am not, okay, yeah, yeah, yada, yada. I'm done with reading. We're done. Too much reading going on. Hello? Ah, another urn. Is this one gonna explode on me? No? There goes that dog again. So now what? Oh, that's the only thing I needed. Be free! I was kinda expecting something. Oh! Okay, moving on. Just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Ooh, 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 shut up. 
Okay, I don't know where to go from here. So in the meantime, I'm landing here. Oh, that kind of rhymed. Anyways, thank you everyone for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next video.